Hey y'all, welcome back to the Pendry Home or welcome if you are new. My name is Lakin and in today's video, we are spring cleaning, decluttering and organizing here in the master suite of our home. And I'm starting here in our bathroom and I'm just showing y'all how messy our drawers and cabinets are in here. And I'm just gonna start by taking everything out of these drawers and the cabinets and I'm gonna lay it on the counter and that way I can physically touch every item, look at it, and decide if I'm gonna keep it or toss it because I am so ready just for a fresh, clean slate in our home, especially with all of this warm weather and really just getting rid of things that we no longer use or need or that have just been sitting all year long. And that's the thing about spring cleaning is if you haven't used it that whole year, get rid of it. And that's kind of my thing. Um, but I also got these little storage containers to kind of help organize um, in the drawers. They're just little clear drawer organizers. And I found them at five and below and you got three of them for $3.25. It was a super good deal. And then I'm also gonna be laying contact paper in the um, cabinet part of it. But I thought about putting the contact paper in the drawers as well, and then I decided not to, but I may go back and put the contact paper in there eventually because I really like how it looks in the cabinet. And if you'll stay tuned to later of these clips, you'll see that. The only issue is I'm really sorry you can't really see exactly how I'm organizing or anything in this bathroom because the angles in here are so weird where it's so tiny. And so I didn't really show much of me like actually putting everything back in there and organizing it completely because I just couldn't get the camera angles the way they were supposed to be. But I am gonna show you before and after clips. I did go ahead and dig into this closet and toss out a bunch of old products that we no longer use. Um, but I didn't really film any of that either because like I said, the angles in this bathroom are so tight and so weird and like just trying to set up the tripod and everything is just crazy in here. So I did the best I could do, but I hope you enjoy this video and get motivated to spring clean your home and to get organized and to start decluttering. And then after I finish up with this um, bathroom, I'm just gonna be a few days later so you all will see like an outfit change and everything. And you'll see that I'm gonna start in our master bedroom, which you can see here clearly through the doorway. Um, and I'm gonna go into our dressers. I did not get finished on the day that I did this. Um, so there will probably be a part two video for our bedroom just because um, I did not get through all of the drawers. I did on that long dresser with the mirrors that y'all can see directly through this doorway. I did get finished with that one, but the one that's up against the wall that I showed in the very last clip of the bedroom organization is the one that's still not fully finished but I did show y'all what I got done in there and then I still want to get into the closet as well because it really really needs to be organized a little bit better and I need to figure some kind of organization system out but I did use the KonMari style or method of folding the clothes and everything and so far it's worked um, it hasn't been too long since I've done the bedroom, but so far it's working really good and I really, really like how much space it gave me and how much just organized and how I can see every clothing item in the drawers. And that was always a thing for me is I would fold and just stack my clothes where I couldn't see what was underneath. And that's kind of hard uh, for like t-shirts and stuff if you have different things or pajamas and all that, then you're having to dig up under. The KonMari method allows you to see every single item in your drawer, which is something I really, really like. So I hope you guys, again, enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you'll follow along and clean with me today. I'm so excited that you're here. So let's just go ahead and continue on.
If you are also spring cleaning in your home, then link down in the comments what you are doing to get organized or to declutter and which part of your home you're starting with or you have done so far. I'm really interested to see like, is this something that a lot of people do, especially like being, you know, somebody who's at home all the time or just being a wife in general. Um, I'm just curious to know, do you spring clean? All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna roll some before and after shots of these cabinet drawers and the cabinet itself. And it is so much cleaner. Now, this has been done probably for over a week and this has definitely worked really, really well for us. And everything has stayed so organized and so clean just by doing these simple little things. The contact paper is from Dollar Tree and so is the little wired baskets. I forgot to mention that at the beginning, but that's where they're from. And I am just so happy with how this has stayed organized, which is just something when you are when you organize, you wanna try to figure out the best method of what will work for you and what's gonna stay and keep. And I think so far this is gonna work for us. So now we're moving on to the bedroom and I'm gonna show y'all before of this dresser over here, what it's looking like. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you some before clips of the other dresser that I was talking about, um, which you are gonna see right now. And I'm gonna show you some before clips. Now, some of the drawers obviously still look exactly the same, but there's one drawer that I did get into and got to fix up. But we're gonna, I'm gonna, like I said, probably do a second video here in the bedroom so that way we can get through all of the organization. Plus, I need to get rid of some clothes and stuff. And that's what I did here was I got rid of so much stuff. I ended up with two trash bags full of things just from the bathroom and the bedroom and I'm still not finished. So super proud of myself for everything that I've gotten rid of so far. But once I get into the closet, I know I'll probably get rid of some more things. And then there's other closets in the house that I still wanna dig through as well and figure out what I need to keep and what needs to go because we, I donated a bunch of stuff when we first got married, when I was moving out of my parents' house. That was a really good time for me to declutter clothes and stuff that I knew I wasn't gonna wear anymore or just stuff that I knew could be replaced or whatever. So I did do a lot of decluttering a year ago. So I guess my spring cleaning last year was actually moving out of my parents' house and figuring out what I was gonna keep and what I was gonna leave there. But I ended up keeping a lot more than what I had realized until I started spring cleaning this year. So it was very interesting to see that. But I did start, so like, if y'all notice, one side of this dresser here with the mirrors, 
is like my husband's and then the rest of it's mine. So like literally three drawers is his and then the rest is all mine because guys just don't have as much stuff as women and they just don't have as much clothes either. Like I, I organize like by my, my underwear, my socks, my bras, and I have like my sports athletic wear with sports bras. Then I have like just my normal bras, like everyday t-shirt. Like, you know, women have multiple bras, which is really, really funny. Is this even weird to be talking about? But it's so true. And like guys, they, they have like undershirts, underwear, and socks, and they really could care less. And as far as pajamas go, you know, guys don't really wear pajamas. Um, he, my husband has like his pajama pants to lounge around in the house and that's about it. So us women, you know, we, we wear pajamas and I, so I need it more drawers than he need it. And I have so many more t-shirts than him as well. Like my husband really does not have a lot of clothes. He has more, I guess, church clothes than anything like his nice dress shirts. He has a ton of ties and we're working on getting him some more suits. Um, but he has quite a few suits as well. And I mean, he doesn't really, he's not really like a clothing fanatic, but he's like really particular about his church clothes. So I guess that's why he has more dressier clothes than anything, because he's just so particular about them. But it's just really funny. So yeah, he just doesn't need as much room as I do. And I, I have way too many clothes, but I'm also like, I love clothes and I love fashion and I love shoes and I love jewelry. Like I'm all girl, you know? <laughs> so I love all that stuff. So I just, I take up more space, unfortunately, because of it. But um, yeah, so if you want like an in-depth kind of thing of how I'm actually folding these, I realized when I rolled back these clips that you couldn't really see like an in-depth way of how I was folding the clothes. But KonMari is a really, you know, um, common method of organization. So you could honestly just look it up and just type in KonMari and there's like so many lists of how you can KonMari your whole house, like by room. And there's like monthly checklists you can do. Those are really cool. I like to look at those just for motivation. And then also you can look up KonMari method of like folding clothes and it'll show you exactly how to fold them. But you stack them and as you see, you can see every single item in these drawers, which is so awesome. And I'm also gonna be rolling before and after clips of everything as well at the end of the whole bedroom clips. So stay tuned for that. And if you're wondering why the bed is not made or there's like no sheets on it, it's because it was sheet day. And instead of putting the sheets that were already folded from last week, you know how I do the whole two sheet thingy and I always have one ready. I decided to actually put the fresh ones out of the dryer on the bed. Cause sometimes, you know, there's just something about getting them fresh out of the dryer and putting them on the bed and then like going to bed at night. Like I absolutely love that. It's the same as fresh sheet sheets, obviously, but it's also just something special about that. So I did wait and um, got the ones that were in the dryer. And at the end of this video, y'all will see that I'm just gonna go ahead and make up the bed.
All right, so now it's time for my favorite part of these videos, and that is the before and after clips. So as y'all see, I did do some rearranging and things, you know, obviously are in different places, but I am so happy with how everything looks and how much space we still have by doing this. So I ended up putting some of my husband's t-shirts down the bottom right there and then also his pajama pants and they were in that other dresser so they actually got moved and I love how much better that is and all of this is just so nice and clean and organized and I am obsessed with how it all looks and I'm hopefully gonna keep it this way. We will see and if not, then I guess we will be organizing again and decluttering. Of course, every spring we're gonna be spring cleaning and decluttering organizing so but I'm just so so happy with how this all turned out and here's that dresser in the one drawer that I did that was the t-shirts and like bed uh, pants of my husband's and I ended up putting all of my t-shirts in there instead and that just kept them so much more organized and I absolutely love it but I do plan on I think I'm gonna put like my jeans and pants and stuff in that dresser as well I haven't quite decided yet but y'all stay tuned because I will definitely be doing it with you but as you see, I'm gonna go ahead and get this bed made because even when you are spring cleaning, organizing, decluttering, you still have your normal daily chores to do and you have to stop and you know do it. And I had laundry that was um, coming out of the dryer and everything, so I had to you know stop and get that and fold it and put it in with everything I was doing as well because it's life and you're still gonna have those normal daily chores to do no matter what you are doing in your home and you know it's a simple reminder do what you can do and you may not get finished but you can always stop and pick back up where you left off on another day and don't don't try to stress yourself out out trying to get everything done because it is okay after all you do have a lifetime to get everything complete so just remember that but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up because that helps me out here on YouTube. And also, if you're new, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can follow along on this journey with me as we do all of the homemaking. Bye, y'all.